So um, another video we're going to talk about is one that I made on uh, contentment. I think I called it um, a new perspective or perspective of contentment, something like that, which uh, came from some of the thoughts that I was having when uh, studying and researching for uh, the podcast episode on possessions and wealth, actually. Okay. Yeah. Um, cause just reading through verses, I came across several that um, and I maybe have them here expressed we should be content with our circumstances whatever those circumstances are and also we should just be content given the bare necessities and when i read those i kind of opened my eyes a little bit and i was forced to realize you know i haven't been terribly content with a lot of areas of my life um and i would i would never have before said that i was a person who wasn't content i would have thought like oh yeah i'm perfectly content but after reading those verses i was like yeah no i definitely wasn't content <laughs> um so one of those verses i'll just read it because i have it written down here first timothy 6 7 through 9 for we have brought nothing into the world so we cannot take anything out of it either if we have food and covering with these we shall be content but those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a snare and many foolish and harmful desires which plunge men into ruin and destruction mm -hmm. So that was one of the ones that kind of just spurred my line of thought on that video. And in the video, I kind of, I kind of tried to, I don't know what you'd call it, role play or uh, walk through like two perspectives someone could have. Yeah. So one would be the perspective which I had and I think most people have, which is um, you want money to, to do the things that you want to do essentially. And then... Then you view every expense and everything that gets in the way as as something that is just annoying, right? Um, yeah. That's how I viewed um, possessions and stuff. And then I compared that with a more content perspective where money is 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 much more. It's it views money as much more of a gift, and as long as it meets the base requirements of providing for your physical needs, for feeding you, and you know, giving you shelter. After that, everything is extra. And so I, I just wanted to compare those two kind of perspectives because I think the latter is more what we should have as Christians. Yeah. And and I think like the, the perspective of having everything beyond our bare necessities is extra helps us to remember that in all these beautiful, all the things that we enjoy, all the money we spend on different fun things or, or you know, trips or whatever, they're, they're a gift from God. Mm -hmm. um, and th I think that mindset, help, mindset helps us remember that is that because basically the, the whole idea is that our we are not working for ourselves we mm -hmm. are working for God right and, and everything is a gift from God yeah and God has given us the responsibility of managing the money that we have that's his mm -hmm. and and so if we've, I guess if we decided to spend some of it on something fun, that's a gift from God. Mm -hmm. but does that make sense? Yeah, that, that's, I guess that's, if you see it that way, you should, that it should also make you more grateful for things. And something I noticed is when I was thinking about that perspective, um, I found like, you know, with this kind of perspective, a person would be a lot more open and willing to give and to be generous. Yeah. Because instead of viewing... Oh no, man! If I if I give if I tithe or if I give to charity or something, that's taking away from what I can do, uh, which would be the first perspective, which is a very selfish one. Uh, instead, with a more content perspective, it's well, it's all extra. It's all a gift anyway. So I should give to those who don't have as much as me. Um, mm -hmm. I I just find that perspective much more open to the idea of sharing than than one that is focused on ourselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and so since, since, I mean, it's been several weeks, I think, since I made that video, and even more weeks since we actually, since I first thought about this new perspective from when we did the podcast. The podcast. And so just trying to adopt the, that new mindset in my own life, I've found that I'm generally just a lot more at peace when it comes to stuff and money. I'm more... I'm more at peace. I'm more content. I'm just, 
happier in general when it comes with anything that comes to money. It's just like I just with that perspective in mind, I just realized I already have everything I need. And it's just it's pretty good. It's been I, I mean, I recommend you at least think through that new that perspective and you read some of the the passages about contentment and just think about how you can apply them to your life because lives lives <laughs> because I think in the end it is it is a uh, kind of the key to one or one of the keys to peace and happiness is mm-hmm. it's it's also kind of severing one more connection that we have to the world when we are no longer oh yeah when we're no longer chasing after stuff and when we're just like you know God I just trust you for the few things you have it just kind of severs that that connection we have to the world and then we're free from that temptation free. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess I should try to work on that more because I don't know different things like wanting to find a better job or wanting to save money here or there. I mean, that all comes from a place of trying to hold on to money. Like you said mm-hmm. of, or yeah, I mean, a lot of things we do just come from a place of, of, holding on to money or going after money. And so I guess I should work on that more is like remember that it's not, hmm. it doesn't belong to me anyways. Right. And I, by no means I'm trying to say that I have like perfectly <laughs> nailed it down because I still like, you know, look at the numbers on my bank account or something and, and fret over expenses and things like I'm not fully there, but I just know from just from being exposed to the new perspective and kind of, half applying it to my life it i've seen noticeable results and i think a more significant one than just thinking about money is with my job um i didn't think i was super you know uh, unhappy with my job but i was i did fall into the trap of kind of complaining about a lot of things and just being a complainer (laughs) basically uh, yeah. And after coming on with this perspective, I realized it could also be applied to work. And from that point on, I'm like, I was just a lot more chill and content about my job. Like, it almost, like, I have wanted to find another job for a while now. It almost for a while put a pause to me wanting to even search because it's like, you know, it's not so bad right now. <laughs> yeah. Is, which, was, which is interesting to me because it's not, I mean delivery driver is not what I want to be for all my life, but at the same time I can still find contentment in it. And I think that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And, and again, it comes back to the thing. If, if our money is God's, our time is God's. So if it's God's will that we'll make more money by working more hours or working a different job, then he can, he can give us that prompting. And if it's God's will that we make less money and maybe spend more time on something, mm-hmm. then maybe he'll prompt us to do that. So it's like, Either way, it doesn't it doesn't matter how much money you make because it's not yours anyways. Mm-hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. This clip came from an episode of our podcast, which we will have a link in the description below for you to watch the full thing, see more discussion about this topic and other topics.